All right, just tucking into these bad boys. We've got the same sort of... Um, there we go. Yeah, about the same carbs as, uh, as rice. And I'm just at this petrol station in between Ca uh, Canberra and um, Kuma. This is like the first stop you come to at about, about 40 odd k's. I'm standing out the wind. There's a bit of a, it's like a cold tailwind. And I've been hooking along uh, 47 k's from uh, from the, from pretty much the centre of uh, Canberra. Staying with uh, a warm showers. Um, Michael and Christine. Along this road today, there's going to be two guys coming up north from south of Kuma trying to go for the world record on the tandem bike so I'm looking out for him and I'm going to go mental on a few um, should be able to get a photo with him I don't really want to stop him if they're going up there or you know well I don't really want to stop him in general so I waited here for about 15 minutes see if you turn up they're heading for Canberra today so um, yeah, the tandem men. Check the profile out; it's pretty, uh, it's pretty sweet on the, on Instagram. So yeah, hopefully I'll make it to Kuma today, which is another like I'm not even halfway there. It's about another 60k's I think, um, and it's been raining for the past hour and a half, so I'm a bit cold. You got to work through it. It's not like it's absolutely freezing. Uh, but I just need to keep my body temperature high um, and my body moving. Otherwise, yeah, you, you shit out of luck there. And I'm stocked up for the next week. And I head over to Gingerbine, Gingerbine Lake. And, um, well, dam, whatever it is. Do a few loops around there, go up, up the hill towards Kosciuszko. Um, and then take the Alpine Way towards Bright where I should be able to meet up with a friend um, who's going to be taking part in a race. There's going to be a bunch of vegans there. It's going to be fucking sick. So, looking forward to that. Um, I hear it's pissing down in, in Manchester. <laughs> As per. Yeah, Canberra. Great city for uh, for cycling in, for sure. Um, just so easy to get around. Um, the the city by by bike so many bike lanes um a lot of green open spaces not a huge population so it didn't seem too busy but the city center was all right um and yeah a lot of government buildings and all that sort of shit and it's very sort of governmenty organized yeah it wasn't like sydney where you've got like new town where it's just there's all sorts of fucking people walking around. It's a lot of, a lot of more businessmen, to be honest. But, yeah. Right, I'll, uh, I'll see you up the road. Yeah, uh, doesn't look like I'm going anywhere for a while. Oh well. Rain stopped. Hey, hey cows. Uh -huh. with you, man. <laughs> See you later, guys. Good luck. Yes, the number plate. <laughs> Brilliant. Oh, fuck. <laughs> so, <laughs> those boys, fuck, they've come from, uh, from England. One's from Norfolk. I think you went to uni in Kent. Well, check the website out. Pop the website up on the uh, on the links below. Hopefully, you know we're still riding by the time this video goes up. Uh, I've had a bit of a bit of a weird day. Uh, piss wet through, but I've covered a lot of ground. Um, man, the stories those guys must have is just incredible. Um, yeah, they looked pretty beat, if I'm honest. <laughs> so, George, John, if you ever see this. <laughs> Wow, you are, you're doing really fucking well. Um, 
And yeah, I think I think the well, they're, they're setting a, a, a world record basically. They've just got to stick by the Guinness World Record uh, rules, and they're probably the first blokes to do it on a tandem bike go circumnavigation. Um, maybe something I'd not, I, I wouldn't really want to do something like that after watching Mike Beaumont suffer uh, the way he did. Um, but he was the one who inspired me. Know, really to, to get on my bike and sort of do this sort of shit um, before I even got a bike just the just the, the willpower that that guy's got <laughs> see you later guys good luck Yes, the number plate! <laughs> Brilliant.